Until the Sandusky scandal broke, the Board of Trustees election usually flew under the radar and didn't get much attention. Now it's a much different story. With big name endorsements, lots of campaigning, and even attack ads like billboards targeting incumbents like Stephanie Davini. She's the board's current vice chair and is running for re-election. Um, I could never have imagined that my name would be on a billboard in Penn State, let alone in the context uh, that it's in. Davini says the negative ads won't deter her from her ultimate goal. I want everybody to rally around each other, support each other, help each other, because at the end of the day, we all have a single solidary interest, and that is to see Penn State be the greatest institution. One of her fellow alumni trustees, Anthony Lebrano, believes more drastic steps are needed. I, in the vision that I have for Penn State, is a greater chance of success if I have other people who, who share that vision, and so I'm supporting the three candidates that I've announced. Former state senator Robert Jubilier is one of the candidates Lebrano has endorsed. I wanted to see if the board could right its ship uh, before I made any decisions. Well, they made it worse, in my opinion. And so I wired to the point where I have trouble sitting on the sideline if I can do something. Not every candidate has received a key endorsement. David Mullally says that's not stopping him. I happen to feel that I can bring something important to the, what is the current power dynamic on the Board of Trustees. It is now up to the alumni to decide who's in and who's out. For the Center County Report, I'm Matt Stromeyer.